Hey, I'm Milker. How are you, sir? Hello. Hello. Where have you been, my friend? Uh, I oh, have tell us. terrible days. What happened? <laughs> um, the other day, my uh -huh. internet connection was really bad. And yeah. Yesterday, yeah. Uh, yesterday, I went to a dinner. And you had dinner, yeah. While I was in a dinner, I received the email and was really surprised. Why? It was a big surprise because really? I received my uh the email said that I was hired in one link. In, in one link? Yeah. Yay! That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Because his style is like woohoo. Hey, yeah, and we're today so I went you. to the bank. Uh huh. And it was terrible. I know. You got to open the account, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and tomorrow I have to go to the antecedentes penales. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's going to be a really, really tired but, day. Uh, I, which one you made it? The, because you, you got to make an appointment, right? Which ones? The police ones or the other ones? Uh, no, the police. Uh, I will have to go the next week oh, okay yeah because the appointment is really delayed oh you couldn't make it on morning in the morning during this week it was full already yeah it's full Oof. i only find one day you only found it's... okay yeah found <laughs> one day uh i have to go um on wednesday oh okay yeah yeah and you better print it out yeah yeah or at least uh, write down a piece of paper the code that you already have an appointment, so you could, that could be faster. Yeah, they told me in the email that I have to uh, present the the appointment, mm -hmm. and later I have to go to the appointment. Yeah, that one is. Like, you know what? Uh, the uh, the panels, uh, the panel history, basically that one is. It's not too, oh, well, you don't wait too much time. Well, that depends on the, how many people there are, right? But when I, rem I remember that I went there and I finished in like in 20 minutes. Yeah, it's really fast. It's really fast. And the other one is, I don't know which one you are. You will have it because uh, uh, there's a lot of places, right? Or two or three places when you can get that information. Yeah, like um, in the Rua, I think is one of them, right? Art two. Oh, which one is the other one? Near the National University? No, I don't know. No. No idea? Well, I don't know. Maybe they have changed it because last time, the last time that I, that I had to do that, uh, it was, um, let me check, like four or five blocks down of the National University, the main entrance, when it was Transito. Oh, yeah. are you talking me about San Salvador? Yes, yeah, San Salvador. No, I have to go to Santa Ana. Oh my God! Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, of course you are there. Oh yes, of course. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is she talking about? Oh my yeah, God! You know what? I thought really that you were here. I'm sorry for that. Yeah. And also, uh, I have to go on Monday. Yeah, but what? But there's one link in Santa Ana. Yeah. Really? Yeah, there are hiring. I for... didn't know that. Yeah, they, they are hiring for Volaris. Oh, Volaris, yes, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's... Oh, that's amazing. You're going to be a customer service agent, which one for a reservation or for baggage you don't know yet? Uh, no, it's for uh, if you want to change your flight or. Maybe it's reservations. Yeah, it's a customer service. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so Mr. Stanley can guide you that you cannot imagine. He has a lot of experience in that area, right, Stanley? Yes, yes. In, oh. in my case, it was hotels, mm -hmm. and okay. it was I don't know. It's like they they will show you all the vocabulary, and you're going to get you're going to get it easy. But um, for example, you say the same thing all the time, one and one more time, and you will see that it's going to get easy. For example, uh, I was listening my 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 voice speaking english in the in the in the previous youtube video and i felt like that, damn this this is not me <laughs> um but it always happens when you do your practice yeah for example when i was there in the call it was like 
Uh, hello, thank you for coming to talk. My name is Stan. You made I got your name. Mm -hmm. um, and the attitude, the smile, all those points. And for example, um, hey, uh, for example, Mr. Jones, we will say that the customer is Mr. Jones. Uh, hey, Mr. Jones, before I let you go, uh, I need to tell you that you are eligible to receive 500 Vitamonos points due for listening to an exciting offer that we have going on today. So you are going to get practice with that. And mm -hmm. It's going to be kind of hard at, at the beginning, but you are going to grow it up. Exactly. You make your own scripts, actually. Yeah. I well, work in one link for three years almost. Mm -hmm but in the Avianca account. Ah, okay, so similar to what he's gonna do, right? Yeah, correct, but um, at first you can feel a little hard, but then you... You, you get used to it? Yeah, right. You make your own scripts, then you uh -huh. said the things like you are a robot, I don't know. <laughs> like Stanley said, you, you program your mind later, so... Yeah, at the beginning you will have like a lot of sticky notes in front of your your of your monitors, right? What will be the mm -hmm. entrance? I had I don't have to forget that. Especially if they will send you like announcements like, "Hey, this is an offer," or this and this. they will give you like an update information about what you're going to do this month, right? Yeah. But uh, well, the the good thing is that you're going to increase your vocabulary. You will have airlines vocabulary that maybe you you know some of them, but it's not the same when you're in a yeah. call center, never will be the same. And also, uh, there will be a new environment. And it, maybe at the beginning, like Carito said, you will like follow the script and you will search and like, where is this, uh, what I have to say first? And then, uh, you will have like the step one, step two, step three and so on, right? But at, at, the, at the end, you will, you will uh, make it like your own, right? And you will, will say the, the words in your own way, in your own space, in your own um, style. And also what Stanley said is really important, always smile. Because when you yeah. smile, if, even though uh, the, the other people, you... uh-huh, yes. Go ahead, Sally. Go ahead, Mr. Supervisor. If I can give you a, a little advice. Yes. <laughs> All right. And this was the advice that I'm going to give you. If you don't pretend that you are crazy and the call center, you will re you will get really crazy. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. When you were in the call center, you will be in front. You will be in front of the computer all the time, yes. man, in front of the keyboard and typing all the day and listening to people. People will be yelling at, and yelling at you. And so, what would you do, man? And look at this. Look at this. A little role play. Uh, you are coming oh here. Goodness. There is your computer. You are going to stand up. You are going to see your computer. You will feel that you are bigger than your computer, that the customer, and you will be like, yes, yes, yes. Hey, I do understand, sir. Yeah. So you need to feel bigger. You need to feel yourself bigger than the computer and the those headsets yeah. because you have the, you have the power in that moment. So mm -hmm. you need to enjoy it. You need to pretend that you are crazy. Hey, I just stopped the call. I'm going to begin another call, but there is going to be a little, a little time to wait, a wait time for the, for the next call. In that moment, in that moment, if you don't have anything to say, hey, start to make a joke to your, to your partner who is behind you, talk about something and mm -hmm. pretend that you are happy. If you are not happy, don't let you take the, don't let it take the control of you, mm -hmm. because in in that moment, you will. Um, you will know that you are in front of the computer. Ignore that. Ignore that. Avoid that that knowledge. That knowledge. That mm -hmm. thought. You are in front of the computer, making your job and making a lot of money, right? So you need to be happy. You need to be active. And that's the difference when you go to the call center to enjoy your job, and when you go to the call center to to be an slave. Mm -hmm. yeah thank you exactly that's right and when you are smiling you transmit it in your tone of voice yeah and you know by what? the way i uh, hate it work... when i when i when i have to call and, say, and somebody said thank you for calling oh my <laughs> god like in the first yeah. moment i said these people doesn't want to help me at all they want to go go back home <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah from the beginning do you and know you what? i'm going to call you back <laughs> uh-huh because like what Man. No, yeah and that's you can you can double check when somebody was willing to help 
and somebody will like want to get rid of you. And that is for everything. And yeah. I will send you another tips, okay? Just just for to help you, okay? But don't worry, everything's gonna be all right. Guys, eh, Alex, Marito, Paquito, Sergio, Kelvin, Mr. Hernandez, Daniela, and Mariana, Maria, they said, what the guys you're talking about? <laughs> okay, well, yeah, because they were you were laughing and you said that Carolina and Stanley and me were talking, right? Because we have a call center experience, of course. But what we're talking about is because Amilcar gave us a really great and exciting news. Amilcar, I'm not going to say it. You said it again. Why you're so happy? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, get used to it, okay? Well, I today I want to share with you with everything <laughs> everybody with all my heart <laughs> so uh yesterday i had an interview and thanks for my god um i was hired and i want to share my happiness with you <laughs> That's great. That's great. yeah we're yeah, so happy thank you. Him. yeah Congrats you see and Congrats. that's why because you're practicing your english yeah, yeah. Excellent job, my man. You have improved a lot since the last time that we, that I had you as a student. Remember? That was yeah. like three models ago, right? Three models ago, I think. Around three or four. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, right? Yeah, you have improved a lot. Yeah, all this time I've been improving my, my speaking because I found a, a website where mm -hmm. I can speak with uh, people around the world. Awesome. Yeah, but it's really difficult to speak with Indians people. Ah, uh, yes, definitely. It's really you crazy. will have a lot. Yeah. And also Chinese mm. people and all this stuff. So get used to it. Yeah, Indians people say, what? <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Yeah. But don't worry. You're, that's what I have to do. I, I do, guys, a lot of listening information. Because listening yeah. is really important, and that will be helpful for you, Amilcar, that you cannot imagine. Yeah, it's not really even the training. Important. You'll say, "Ah, I will take it," and you will be shadowing all the stuff. Now you will get the real experience when you are, like Stanley said, in front of the computer on your daily basis, man. Yeah, and by the way, I'm gonna work from home. Hey! Awesome! <laughs> That's awesome, right? We're so, going to start working uh, in a school on. April. Yeah, ex in April, April the 4th, right? Uh, the 6th. For oh, the 6th, I, mean, I apologize. Oh, yes, Carolina, yes. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. that is a semi presidential right? Semi. Yeah. Right. Yes, I no, will call I'm it still working hybrid, <laughs> hybrid uh, learning. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because we're going to have a group of students online. Mm -hmm. and at the same time, we're going to have some students in the classroom. Oh, um, uh, together or in a different days? Together in, in our school, uh, in our, uh -huh. in our school we have no. But in our school, uh -huh. uh, we have uh, the cameras in the in the in the classes with internet and everything. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, so that's good. Trust the, we can we can trust me. Uh, everything li live, yeah. Oh, so maybe I think Marito, what is going to happen is that the one group will be one week, and then the other group will stay at home, and the next week. The, the work that were presential, they will be home and the other ones will be present. I believe that, that there will be a survey for uh -huh. the people who wants to go to school uh -huh. for the people who wants to stay at home because it's not mandatory to be mm. uh, in the classes. Okay, uh -huh, yeah, exactly. It. So the people that decided to go to school, so they will go every week. Oh, you know what? In my, in the case of my niece, talking about that, but she's she lives in Costa Rica. That is not the case. Uh, for example, ish, in one week she has to go physically to school. Next week, she stay home, and so on, like this. So be, be, because they like, I think they divided in groups. The first group where she is, all the week they go back to school physically, but the next week everybody will be at home, like that. I don't know why I, they do that, but I, I think that's fair, but no contrary thing for Lepina. We cannot push the kids to go with the sickness, the sickness around. Oh yeah, yeah but you know what mm -hmm. they, they have a different rules in Costa Rica, so exactly, exactly. Of exactly. course, so, it's totally different. 
But I believe uh, many of my students want to come back to school. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah I know that. I wish I could be at school as well, but no, I will stay here. I don't want to come back to university, so. Really, Mr. Hernandez? Yeah, I don't want. <laughs> you miss your, your, your classmates? No, I don't want. Ah, uh, you don't want? <laughs> ah, I heard you said I want, I'm like, oh. No, I don't want it. <laughs> Uh, okay, no, so that would be okay, but I don't know, that it's up to them, right? I don't know how they're going to do in the case of universities, because it's different, right? Guys, um, who of you is living at Guatemala? Who? Nobody. Yeah, who's living in Guatemala? Living in Guatemala? You're talking to me or talking to everybody, Stanley? Mm, who is living in Guatemala? All the group, including you? Salvadorian. Salvadorian, me too. I want to travel to Guatemala in order to back to the university by studying a career that is done in that country. Ah, okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I used to live in Guatemala when I was four years old. <laughs> that was huh? long, yes, a long time ago I lived like that with Mr. Stanley. <laughs> but, but I believe yeah. with all this technology yeah. around, <laughs> I believe uh, you can have the classes online, probably. Yeah. Uh -huh. And maybe one yeah. week uh, in the month uh -huh. to travel to, to, to Guatemala. I don't know, you, you, you need to search for more information, mm -hmm. but I believe there is an opportunity like that now. No, but yes, you need to pay attention to the news, right? Very good. Okay, guys. Ah, we have Lenin. Lenin, where have you been, my friend? I'm so happy to see you back, sir. I'm sorry. Yesterday we miss you, but at least you saw the video, or no? I can't. You couldn't. I couldn't because I will um, kill you. And <laughs> I've been working a lot. Ah, I can't imagine. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and now I must finish the church service. So, <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, if you're able to uh, put turn it on your camera, great. If not, that's okay. Okay. No, I'm okay. good. I, that's good. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alrighty. I love I love Kirby's background because it's always a cat. Can you see him, the cat? But I love when the cat is doing like this with a tail, because that means that it's looking for the Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, guys. Okay, uh, Luisito's here. Okay, uh, with the information that I sent it to you yesterday, right? Because it was Luisito's fault. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, anybody had uh, any um, doubts about the adjectives, how you convert them? Is it clear? Like water? Like horchata? Or like tamarindo? Alex? It's clear. <laughs> is it clear? Yeah. Clear. Hey, yes, it did did Please you stop. did you find uh, the information that I sent it to you useful? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Refresher. With refresher. All righty. Yeah, I know that sometimes is we tend up to forget because it's not something that we already use. Uh, we use it uh, so frequently, right? But mm -hmm. it's really really important. And also, I found Marito that your question about if there were more like irregular adjectives, and I sent it to you those. Right. That was uh, the second one that I sent. Yes. 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 I saw. I saw them. I. I think light. Light was one of them. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, no less. Not yeah, it was was less. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't less, you check it. Least, less, mm -hmm. least. Yes, it was that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, yeah. Also, with it was little, less and least. Less and least. Yes, uh huh. Exactly. It was far, far, further and forest. Okay. Oh, it, this is another classmate. The, the the Ernestina's <laughs> doggy, okay. Remember that, right? A much more a moss, right? Remember that. So yeah, there were a lot of them, and I decided to to send it to you because it's really really important. That's why uh, Luisito asked uh, a question that was really important, and uh, that's why I took the time to help you guys because uh, you need to like refresh that when you are using what we have saw yesterday, right? Comparison with adjectives and with nouns. Uh, let me ask you. So funny, funny, 
Funnier. The adjective funnier. funny funnier. is more funny or funnier? Funnier. 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 Very good. And funnier. the superlative? Funniest. 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 Okay, funnier. Funnier with double N, right? Yeah. And if and what happened with the Y? Yeah, change for for A. I change for A or I. for I. For I. For I E R. I, I. Okay. Exactly. That's why it was like a, this is one of the birds that are tricky. Also, we have sunny, right? We have happy, pretty, tasty, dusty. Oof. We do have a lot. Cloudy, scary, early. Oh. Oof. I think that the I think the rule for you to duplicate the letter is that you have a only. A, let me see. Is a consonant, vowel, consonant, mm -hmm. and then you duplicate the last one. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. small, smaller, right? Uh, exactly. Like funny, 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 funny. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. that depends on the termination, Marito. For example, and you double it, you double it. Also, you double it um, L for small, smaller. No, smaller, no, because you just add the ER, right? Mm -hmm. It depends on Hi, the termination. Everyone. Hi, Luisito. Sorry. Yes, I didn't talk before because I was having dinner. Excuse me. Ah, no, uh, that's okay, Luisito. Uh, all right. Enjoy it. Up, but thanks, thanks a lot. And but I am paying attention and I'm listening and uh, listen to you, all you guys. And I have a question. Hey, could I okay. Say, could I say today it's sunnier than yesterday? Uh huh. Yeah, today is sunnier than yesterday. Yes, you can. And cloudier, it's it's cloudier than yesterday. Yeah, of course. Remember that, that those were on the list that I sent it to you. Sunny, sunnier. Cloudy, cloudier. You can say that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fantastic. Okay. You're welcome. That's why you see, <laughs> I'm a hard <laughs> teacher. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? I have a little pet here that wants to join us to this class. But this little one is having a nap, I think. Mr. Chestnut is here. Okay, when he wakes up, if he wakes up, uh, I will show it to you, okay? Okay, guys. You should move the camera and show us. Uh, no, it's because he's... Uh, it's a gecko. No, it's not a gecko. He's like, uh, how you, what is that, Ernestina? A gecko, was that? Just kidding. Lizard. What? It's, oh, gecko. Oh. Gecko. Oh. Lizard, you said? Lizard? A little one? Yeah. yeah little, little. Little. Okay, lizard. lizards. All righty. No, this is gecko. Gecko is gecko in English. Gecko. Gecko. Yes, exactly. Gecko. The lizard are the, the, the red ones, the red ones, the green ones. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, the gecko like gecko. Exactly, yes. Like a tengereche, no. Tengereche. Yeah, like that, yes, exactly. Like that one. Mm -hmm. Tengereche. 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 <laughs> like it. <laughs> no, Mr. Chestnut is my is my youngest dog. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think, no, you know what? As soon as he like lay down on the floor, he's starting like... <sighs> Like that? Excuse me, teacher. How do you call your your pet, the dog one? I mean, uh, dog? chestnut. Let me write it down on the chat. Oh, chestnut. Okay. Yes. Have you seen that movie, Chestnut? No. No. Basically, it, there were two orphans, two girls, that they that they found that dog on the road, and basically the dog was inside a a pickup. That a a, a man went and and stole all all the property of somebody in the house and he didn't find out that the dog was also inside the pickup so when he like stopped the car and opened the the back part of the car uh, the dog came out and he ran away and he left the door the dog on the road and the two girls sold chestnut and they rescue him before another car like <laughs> kill him and uh, they took him back to uh, the orphan house uh, and took care of him. There were a lot of girls there and they, they need to like hide the dog from the nuns. You know what nuns are? Nuns? Monjas? Yeah. yeah. Your, okay. Yeah. Is your dog chestnut 
a small duck or rather a big one? No, this is a middle one. Because the, the original chestnut was like Scooby Doo's uh, pedigree, right? The one from the from the from the film, but Mr. Chestnut, my doggy, it is a Bijon Maltese, Bijon Maltese. That yeah, that is <laughs> when he has a lot of hair. He has a three faces of hair, three taps. Uh, he looks like a like a bird when he was little. I think I'm gonna share a photo with you later on, guys. When he was a baby boy, my my aunt is my uncle my uncle and um, well he's he's also um half of owner of chestnut chestnut is half mine and half of hair because uh, uh i couldn't have a chestnut with me and my um uh, my aunt said i know that you will have chestnut because whiskey that is chestnut's father he's getting older so one time whiskey will pass away and i don't want to like uh to to, to miss whiskey, so instead of whiskey will be chestnut, right? But they're 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 going up together. So my my aunt said, okay, I will help you raise him. I will help you with the food and all the stuff, but you're gonna keep it, okay? Because I cannot keep it in my house. Okay, so that's fine. So when my aunt when my aunt well my uncle in this game my uncle my uncle came, he grabbed him and he was like this size, like this size, but he was a brown color completely brown look like a teddy bear actually guys you know what chestnut means chestnut no. do you, you do you remember what is the the thing uh that the squirrel the squirrel it's yeah yeah okay so that what we call in english chestnut oh i see so because of the color of his hair that's why i decide to call him chestnut or to name him chestnut. So now you know how to say nuez in English. I heard those dogs cost an arm and a leg. Is that true? What? I heard those dogs cost an arm and a leg. And no, well, basically, to be honest with you, um, no, because I, well, my, my brother-in-law has the, the chestnut mother. So, and I have whiskey. Whiskey is a schnauzer. So we joined it together and then she uh, got four babies and one of the babies was chestnut. But I think there's a mix of pedigrees because my one, my dog is uh, a schnauzer with terrier. Oh, yeah, this, look at Ernestina ones. And uh, chestnut mother is Maltese. Maltese with, uh, what else? With French. But Whiskey's grandfather, <laughs> can you imagine? That's a whole family tree, right? Whiskey's grandfather was uh, Bijon Montes. So you know, oh my God, you see? Chestnut disappear. Chestnut, where are you, my friend? Okay, hopefully he come back. Hopefully he comes back. I got a question. Yes, her, Mr. Hernandez, go ahead. In which language, in which language do you speak with? Chestnut? Ah, in three languages. Really? <laughs> yeah, they understand French. Can you imagine? <laughs> no, <laughs> they do understand English as well. Yeah, they do. For example, when we have to, when we get, when we take them uh, to my mom's house, I ask them, "Hey, jump in," and they jump in in the, in the in the back of the car, jump in. And when I said stop, hold on, and they are like waiting. And then when I said, hey, count down, and then like, they dropped from the car. And also when they were like in their normal uh, walk, right? They were happy and all those stuff because they're, yoo-hoo, we're free. So they were like running around. And when it's time to come back home, I said, Oniva, that's a French word, Oniva. And uh, that means in, in English, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oniva. Cool. Yeah, you that's me. Tell us, you didn't tell us that you also speak French. That's you cool. didn't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because this is English class, of course. I'm not going to be like selfish and telling you, oh, no, this, no, no, no. It's, it's, not, it's not what for, right? <laughs> We're English class, okay? All right. I use yeah. it when I need it. 
and with the people that I that I know that they can speak. But if not, do just... you give French lessons? No, not right now because I need to like make something that uh, the TOEFL in in French, and I haven't done that yet. I need to do that before, but th that calls in his French is Delf, Delf and Dalf. All that is right, the key, so the equivalent in English, toic and TOEFL. Mm -hmm. All right. So are you still learning? Yes. Sometimes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. That's great. I have a question. How, how, long, how long have you been learning French? Well, I, I was supposed to already finish it. I was supposed to, but because of the time, because of the money and because family's issues, like, for example, my mom's health and my father-in-law's health, who passed away already. So I had to like quick and stop. Uh, but I started learning French since 2009. Can you imagine? Yes, yeah. I know that it takes a lot of time to- No, it, it, actually life. no. But uh, the problem is that I had during the period that I want to study French, I had uh, a lot of obstacles that do yes. not let me continue. So how long do you think it takes to learn a language without uh, without problems in, in a normal situation? Depends. Depends if you like languages. Also depends of your capacities. Depends if you, uh, your efforts, etc. But it could take, um, well, in this case, my English, I started from when I was eight years old until 14. And, but French, it could be like two years and a half. Sounds great. Yeah, or three, no more than that. Okay, guys, let's go. And everybody said, when the teacher is going back to business, right? <laughs> okay, all righty, finally they said, okay, guys, thank you. It's because of Luisito. Luisito, please don't distract me. I'm just kidding, Luisito. <laughs> no, that's okay, Luisito, don't worry. Okay, hey, guys, and yesterday we saw about comparisons, right? Comparison with nouns and comparison with adjectives. Let me ask you something. Can you give me an example of, uh, hey, I, I remember that I gave you a homework, right? You're gonna give me an, a sentence, yeah, using comparisons with nouns. Any volunteer? Thank you so much. Go ahead, Carito. What? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Uh, Lydia isn't as much sociable as Carmen. Sociable. May I tell me something, Carito? Sociable. Is it a noun or an adjective? An adjective. Uh huh. And I want a noun. Okay. Uh huh. Think mm. about it. Anything else? No, Carito. Wait, wait. I don't wait. know. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'll, I will give you time to think and then we're going to ask Marito, okay? Very good. Okay. Okay, Marito, now it's your turn. Go ahead, sir. Okay, I wrote something. Okay, go ahead. Okay, teacher's planification takes more time than driver's planification, but drivers spend more time in a car than teachers do. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. That's awesome. Very good. Uh, Stanley, you have you do have um, an example for me? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't do the homework. Um, I didn't do the homework. Yes. Hey, but you can do it. Okay, I will um, give you time okay, to think. Okay. Um, but I need more more examples. Yeah. Okay. I don't don't worry. Take the idea. Ah, okay, okay. Let's listen to Carito. Carito, give him an example, please. Ah, I, I gave you time. <laughs> I need more time. <laughs> you need more time. I don't know. I, I have some... some Doubts. So, yeah, correct. Ah, okay, don't worry. That's what I ask you <laughs> because we're going to double check it today. Okay, Alex, what about you, Alex? I... Um, Don't tell me that you didn't do your no, homework okay, because, I'm, of course, not. <laughs> okay, I will try. You do about your um, best with nouns. It's uh, almost example, the same, guys. Uh -huh. For example, uh, doctor, uh, surgery. Right? Yeah, uh, or you can use uh, anything else. Um, or George, George, 
has a, a words uh, has words uh, no hold on hold on uh -huh. uh, uh, <laughs> no what, what you have to do is like remember uh, it is almost exactly the same as adjective guys the difference is that instead of adjective you're going to use a noun so you need to remember which of the word in English is considered a noun. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, doctor has a uh, um, more uh, education or, or higher education than than the uh, plumber. Very good. You see, education. You see, Carito, education. Education is not an adjective. Education is a noun. Very good. Okay. And you can okay, set yeah. the opposite way, right? A plumber has less education than a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good, Alex. Okay, Stanley, okay. are you ready? Yeah. Go ahead, my man. All right. Um, FO Studio is a digital workstation who has a better. If don't, it's, it's large. Okay. Um, Take a deep a breath. Interface, and uh, we have a better interface than Cubase, but Cubase has more quality than FL Studio. Oh my goodness, that was so deep. <laughs> Excellent. Huh? Yeah, that, that the, was awesome. That the, like, oh, very good job. Okay. Carito, are you ready? Yes. Okay, cool. Go ahead, girl. Doctor has better salary than a farmer. Ooh, good. All right. Very good. Now do me a favor. Remember that also we saw as us. So try to okay. think uh, as be, yeah, but uh, see, similar professions, right? Similar. Um, a farmer isn't as much mm -hmm. salary as doctors. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very good. Okay, that's good. We're going to learn something. A, a, so another thing that will that will make that sentence that you did better, okay? But okay. that's good. That's good. Excellent. Paquito, can you give us an example? What you have for us? Okay, I can make a, a comparison. Yeah, go ahead. Um, following the, the farmer uh, example. For, in my opinion, farmers are as much important as a doctor. Aha, uh -huh. as much important. But that one, eh, that is not a noun, Paquito. What about the farmer? No, fa no, farmer. I know, I know. But when you are like comparing like more or less in the middle of more and less and then you gotta put the noun there. For example, let me give you an oh, example. Yeah. I, 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 Mm -hmm. I said important. Is that a noun? What do you think? Is that a noun? Important? I don't That's know. I no, I know, I know, I know, Paquito. That's what you said. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But what I'm asking you, if I, if I, you're a hundred percent that that the word important is a noun. Yes, that's why I say that. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Very good, very good. Ha! As a doctor, what, I was teasing you, Paquito. What we can do if we don't have farmers uh, 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 planting the corn or uh, doing the the milk and everything? No, of course, Paquito. So, it's not. That, it's not that we consider that profession lower capacity. No, it's just the making an example. Okay. Oh, okay. No, don't worry. Don't worry. We're not de okay. denigrating any any professions. No, 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 no. It's just to making an example. <laughs> don't worry. But that's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah, and also you're good. Important, yes. Important is not an adjective. It's important is is uh is a noun. Exactly. But I'm asking you it's that because, mm -hmm. guys, when I when you uh, when I ask you to give me an example, I want you to make to be sure what you're telling me. And if I, for example. Cat, that you are doubting about something, that's why I'm going to ask you, are you sure? Are you sure? Really? Yeah? Because I want you to be okay. self-confident. That's why Paquito, Paquito was like okay. sweating, right? 
Why she's no. asking me no, that? No, no, no. <laughs> That's good, Paquito. <laughs> Very good example. Okay. Excellent. Now let's listen to Lenin. Would you like to try? <laughs> I'm in the moon. You're in the moon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You gotta watch the video, okay? Yesterday. Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's listen to the rest and you will understand much better. Okay, Alex, go ahead. Uh, this one, for example, the. Listen, Len. No, for example, if uh, we say the. Uh, surgeon, uh, how we how we call Surgeon? It? Surgeon, right? Mm hmm. Surgeon has uh, a better hour payment or, or payment hour. Uh, uh, payment hour. A payment hour than. than uh, than um, carpenter? No, yeah, that might be. Yes, excellent. Carpenter. Very good. Be, huh? Yeah, that's good. Mr. Hernandez, what about you? Okay. Apartment don't have as much okay. privacy as houses. Apartment don't or doesn't? Apartment. Apartment or apartments? Apartments, okay. Apartment. Okay, okay. Don't have as much privacy as houses. Very good. As much privacy as houses. Very good. He uses much, guys, because privacy is a, a noun that you cannot count. Very good. Very good, Mr. Hernandez. Mariana or, my, or Miss Ernestina, can you give us a sample, please? Uh, your house. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your house is... Uh, a big than than my house. No, uh, that is an adjective. Big, bigger. But bigger. can you use uh, yes? Can you use exactly the same example but with a noun in the middle? And um, the house as bigger as you house. Ah, but that one, yes, yeah, that's that's good one. That is a good uh, way to say the the sentence. But if you're using bigger. Ernestina, you're not using a noun. Bigger is an adjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I have, have a confused uh -huh. the noun and adjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. A noun, for example, can be time, hour, payment, profession, education, etc. This is a noun. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you you pay you pay your your book oh no oh no oh no another example for example okay. um my book is a, a very cheap as your your book as very cheap cheap, cheap cheaper yes. that is cheaper, cheaper. Uh, cheaper. okay uh-huh but that is not a noun ah i think i think you will need to get more more what more vocabulary of nouns you know what okay. nouns is nombres, right? Nouns. It's okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have too much knowledge about the nouns and also, okay. But don't worry, you're doing your best, which is really kind. Very, okay. very good. Uh, for example, you can say, my room is as blue as your room. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. For example. In this case, it's a room is a noun. Mm, yes, but oh. that oh. is a noun. But what is also now is the word, the color blue. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. It's in the middle. The it's middle in the middle. In the, in the middle, middle of the two parts, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Like a connecting. Like a connecting. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thank Very you. good. Thank you. Irina, can I have an example, please? Yes, teacher. Um... Finally, if you said. <laughs> I don't know if it's correct, but I ah, do your best. like this. Water is as vital as air is. Yeah, as vital. It's correct. Yes, of course, because Thank that you. one is, is a noun, it's not a verb. Very good. Okay. okay, guys, I know it's a little bit hard, right? A little bit hard. But don't worry, okay? Carito, don't feel like, hmm. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. You will get used to, the thing is, guys, that you would need like to make um, a little refresh about adjectives in English, about nouns in English. In that way, you that will that will make it feel like more comfortable uh, saying those phrases. And also, guys, it will be easier for you. Okay. 
Let me double check if I can search for more nouns, examples. So that will help you a lot, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, Amilka, do you have one? Yeah, I think. Go ahead. Uh, the Pacific Ocean is deeper than the Arctic Ocean. Very good. All righty. Okay, guys, so now do me a favor. Oh, Vladi Aguilus is here. All righty, very good. So now, guys, we are going to continue learning this topic, but now it will be using verbs, verbs and participles, okay? And past participles in this case. And I think the verb is going to be easy. You know what? It will be easy. It yeah. will be easy. Yes. So don't worry about it. Let me share right now my screen with you. And you will notice something different also, guys. Let me check. There you go. Okay, cool. Oh, it was like, it was like whispering. All right. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. So if you notice, guys, the comparison with verbs and participles, basically, we're going to use them exactly the same, the one we have seen before. More than... Less than is the opposite, better than, worse than is the opposite, as, as, and not as, as, okay? But, girl, uh, boys, let me give you an example. Uh, okay, guys, I want you guys to help me with the verbs that will be related to work. Mm -hmm. Maybe it could be the, the verb earn, right? What else? Work. Any other verb that is related to work environment, guys? Uh huh. Education. No, no, that is not a verb. That is a noun, Paquito. Okay. Uh huh. Verb is an action. Remember, like work, pay, learn. Oh, pay, pay. pay. Learn. What else? Learn. We learn. Learned. All right. What else? Try. Play. Try, get, all right, pick, pick, okay, etc. All right, very good job. Okay, so let me teach you something because I want you guys to take a notice about that is going to be different when we use comparison with verbs. Let me pick uh, one profession. Uh, we can say a lawyer. A lawyer earns more money than a what? A plumber? Than a pilot. Than, than a pilot, okay, let's put pilot. All right, very good. Guys, in this sentence, where is the verb? I got a question. Who got a question? Hey, John. Visito. is, no, John. Ah, Mr. John, okay. Why lawyer is without capital letter? <laughs> without, no. Ah, very good. Finally, somebody who noticed that. <laughs> who noticed that. Thank you, John. I thought everybody will notice, but only John. I made it on purpose, John. Thank you. <laughs> very good. Okay. Why, is, why is capital letter, John? What it must be in capital letter? Mm -hmm. Because our profession has exactly. to be with capital letter. Exactly. Very good job. Very good observation. Okay. Congratulations. Okay, guys. Okay. I, Go ahead. Sure. I, ha I have read some uh, books. Mm -hmm. and I, uh, but it wasn't with the capital letter on, on the profession. Well, it but, a, a small letter. But that was not good. Oh, okay. Because grammatically, all proper names, also in Spanish, all proper names must have a capital letter. Okay. For example, country names, name of the persons, profession names always must have a capital letter. I, maybe they don't, okay. I mean, it was, it, it was wrong, but it's supposed to be like that way. Well, grammatically correctly. It, okay. it doesn't matter in which language you speak or you write, it must be. Okay. No, but thank you so much for letting me know that. Okay, guys. So do me a favor here. Okay, we have 
more, right? We have more here. And then we have them. Is that right, guys? Yes. Yeah? Those two are the parts of the comparison, right? But guys, in this particular sentence, a lawyer earns more money than a pilot. Oh, oh I oh, also, guys, I cannot use money between more and then. I can only say that. A lawyer earns more than a pilot. And it's understandable, yes or no? Yes. yes. It's exactly the same, yes, right? It is. Yes, it yeah. is. The only thing that I put the money is like add an extra information. But when you already know the word earns, you know that it's talking about money, right? So I do not have to put money again because it will be like redundant. But, but it doesn't matter if you put it because it will be grammatically correct. But guys, take a look at something. It, what is the difference about this sentence uh, comparing with the uh, comparison with adjectives and comparison with nouns? Did you identify any difference here of, of the structure? Did you identify you it? To use, you have to use more and then. Well, you also use no, it. Yeah, you use it. In no. comparison with adjectives and with, and with and nouns, you use more and then. But that is hey. that is not the, the, the difference. Go ahead. Because the bear before more. Exactly. Very good. Yes, exactly. That's it. Exactly, guys. Take a look. The verb, in this case, earns, it is before the comparison. More and then. You see? It is not in the middle. You take a look on that, guys? Yeah? Yes. Okay. So that is really, really important. You see? So the verb goes before the noun, before the, the comparison. You don't say a lawyer more earns than a pilot. Is that right? It doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So that's why, guys, that this is one of the difference. Well, when you're using comparison with verbs, the verb always is going to be at the beginning before the comparison part, which in this case, the comparison is more and then. Can we make another, um, another example? Now, guys, do me a favor. Let me check something. Oh, yes, there you go. Now let's let's do let's do the opposite. A pilot earns what is the opposite? Less. Less. Less, less than, right? Less than what? Less than a, a lawyer. Yes, exactly. A lawyer. All righty. And then again, we're going to emphasize here, guys, the verb. In this case, earns. Okay. And also we have here, in this case, we have that comparison, which is less than, right? Okay. This one, it is, it is easy peasy quizy. This one, guys? Yes, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You see, this is easy. This one is really easy. You don't have to complicate your life. The okay, cool. The easiest one. Yes, this is the easiest one because uh, the other one, you know what the problem is, guys? That I think we know in English or we use in English more verbs. But when we have to use adjectives and nouns, we need to like think about it twice, right? Because it's not like we don't have, we don't know more. We, we know uh, nouns and, and adjectives in Spanish, but in English, sometimes we don't know a lot of them. So what we had to do is like to increase your knowledge about adjectives and nouns. And we'll send you information, okay, guys? Just for you to have it and you will increase your vocabulary, okay? Is okay. it easy peasy quizzy? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Thanks. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Ernestina, for sending that to the, into the group. I love that. I love that girl. <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys. Now, this is the, this is not the hardest part, but um, well, basically, guys, this is something that I want you to pay attention on too, because it could be kind of tricky, this one. And this is going to be the one with participles, okay? Let me, let me now scroll down a little bit and take a look at this one. Okay, all right. Um, let me double check something. Mm -hmm. it's, it could be like out of the box, if you can say that. Comparison. 
we can make an example. Uh, let's let's continue with the with the um, lawyer. Or can you give me another profession, guys? Teacher. Thank you. A teacher is. We can let's use this this one, right? The second one, better than. Is better paid than a what? Than a plumber. what, guys? What? No, a, a poor plumber. Then a poor plumber. Farmer, a farmer. Security. Security. Then a security. Then a security. Security guard, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yes, leave the plumber alone, please. <laughs> all righty, <laughs> very good. So here we have better. All right, let me put it in red color. And here, guys, we have the other part, right? Better than. Okay. You see, guys, that we can in this one, the when we're talking about comparison with participles, and we're going to use guys the verb to be. Okay, again. But here is something really important. In this sentence, guys, who can identify for me the past participle here in this sentence? Where is it? Where is it? At the best. Paid. Very good. Hey, guys, this is regular or irregular verb? It's regular. It's regular. regular. Yeah. Regular. It's regular. Exactly. So this one, guys, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use the participle of the verb in this case. This one is what we call, <laughs> don't going to make fun of this, right? But this is what we call PP, okay? Participle, past participle. So guys, when we're talking about comparisons with participles, we're gonna use the verb to be all the time and also the participle is going to be as the same as an adjective in the same of the noun. It's going to be in the middle, in the middle of the two parts of the, um, of the comparison. You see, it's in the middle. All that you gotta be careful is to transform the participle in the correct way. Remember that we have present participles and past participles. In this case, we're using past oh, participles. Oh. So you need to uh, remember your knowledge about the verbs. Because in this case, guys, even though a past participle is the verb, but in this case, when we are talking about comparison, it makes the function of an adjective, okay? I, I, that's mm -hmm. why I'm, I'm letting you know that it's really tricky because it's out of the box. Because you can say, hey, but this verb is in past. In why I'm using the verb to be in present, right? It is because normally, guys, this a past participle normally is a verb. Is that correct? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Yes. But when you are using the participle here as a comparison, you're not using it, guys, as a verb. You're using it as a adjective as an adjective guys to describe or in this case to compare one profession with another okay so that is really really important hey are you with me yes are you sure yes we are a hundred percent sure i know i'm trying to explain it to you guys because i know that it could be really really tricky yeah because this is out of the box. But if you put your imagination, you will be able to use it. Can I give you another example? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Please. Yes, please. Of course, let me give it to you. That's why I'm here. Okay, let's use another example, okay? But let me raise this one really quickly. There you go. There you go. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay, let me check. Oof. Can we use the... One yes. of the, the irregular, like a get. Ah, like a what? Get. Get. Okay. Uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. We check. We check it. Yes, of if course. It, if it change. Yeah, of course we can use it. Bear with me for a moment. Let me check. Okay, there you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
who we, we like to do worse or as as or not as as which one you want to use it oh first of all can i have can i have that profession please oh, when, uh, uh, don't tell me a doctor. plumber okay leave the plumber alone <laughs> a doctor? Okay, doctor a doctor okay mm -hmm. a doctor what Music uh -huh. producer. Uh huh. And doctor, what? Get. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The doctor is what? Us. Is. Uh huh. T think about it. I'm going to let you think about it. You can use better, worse, at, as, not as. Actor. But yeah, you remember guys that get is going to be a verb. Okay, I just want you guys to think about participles right now, no verbs. Because I can get, I can say it, a doctor gets better job than, than what? Than a carpenter, for example. But I don't want you to do to do it a verb. I want you to think about past participles. Okay, like a uh, uh, doctor um, has uh, has gotten uh, the same education as 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 science scientific. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, because in that I, I, case I, I, you are using uh, gotten. You are using the that one uh, by you, yes by you are using uh like a verb and do you remember that it has to be is that has to be a verb here and, um, and i do not use any other verb i use for example a teacher earns better uh, uh, earns more than a carpenter for example okay you are you're using something like that alex like a teacher you said at we I have to put it in capital letters. A teacher earns a better than a carpenter. Okay, you are doing exactly like this, but you are a uh, put it with gotten right gotten. A teacher gotten mm -hmm. what? Got you said gotten better education but you're doing the comparison with verb and I don't want no. a comparison with verb. I want a comparison with past participle. Ah, I told you guys be, that this is a tricky one. I told you that this is not easy. It could be a no. doctor is as demanded than a teacher. As demanded. Ah, like. uh -huh, uh -huh. Is as demanded, yeah. Than a teacher. Than a teacher or us? As, as, as a teacher. As teacher. a teacher. Very good. Very good. Yes. That's that is good. Yes. Very good. Carito, right? Yes. Very good, Carito. Okay. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. I uh, knew that you're going I, to ask a question. Go ahead. I can use uh, I can use no. Can uh, I use? Can I use a doctor is more demanded than a teacher? Yeah, of course. Okay. Because you're going, you're. What is the difference is that you're going to use different comparison. Carito yeah. use as us, and yeah. in this case, you're going to use more than. Okay. But what I what I need that you remember, guys, is that the past participle be in the middle. The difference with the verb is the verb is before the comparison. Okay, I got mm -hmm. it. You got it. Cool. Okay, and as remember, guys, this one we have the verb to be here, right? And then we have the word demanded. Very good. This one, guys, this is a a verb. Yeah, this is a, a verb. It's a, reg, it's a regular verb. But the participle is ends in ed, which is really good. But remember, guys, that this one, the past participle here in the sentence makes the function of the adjective, not a participle anymore. Mr. Salguero. Yes, Mr. Luis. Let me go back. Yes, welcome. Okay. Ah, no, Paquito, Paquito, sorry, thinking, go ahead, Paquito. Yes, that, that's, that's okay. Uh, I was thinking about another example. Go ahead. Uh, uh, 
as comparison with the doctor, uh, I was thinking about to say mm -hmm. a doctor. Se llegaron dormidas. ¿A dónde están? Me, oh ah. my God. A, a, a doctor is better than the secretary. Uh, uh, repeat it again, please, because I think uh, Stanley was uh, talking right now. Go ahead. A doctor uh, is I better was... trained. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Paquito. Go, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I was talking to my mom. Uh-huh, yes. Okay, a doctor is... <laughs> go ahead, Paquito. We we'll listen to you. Okay. A doctor is better trained than a secretary. Very good. Very good. Okay, I, I said uh, I said a doctor is better trained than, than a secretary. Is that mm -hmm. okay with the, yeah. with the sentences? Yes, oh, because okay. that because that's past just participle. For, okay, yeah, was just want to make sure that, yes. that it works. Very good. That was really okay. good. What I'm gonna do right now, guys. Thank you very much. No, thank you. I'm I already have a um a file that I want you to to double check because. Uh, I want you guys to study more the participles, okay? Because in English, we have present participles, we have past participles. And in this case, with comparisons, we use past participles, paid, demanded, trained, etc. okay? So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna send it to you right now, guys. And uh, don't memorize it. It's just for you to have like more knowledge about that because I want you guys to understand a bit. Okay, so I found this article, which I think is going to be helpful for you a lot. But you know why, guys, that the participles, the comparison with participles could be a little bit tricky, right? Is, was it easy, this one? Be honest. A little confused. A little I know, confused. I know it's because it's out of the box, doesn't follow the, the rules. Mm -hmm. That's why, guys, I want you to to understand that. Oh, well, but think about it. All that you gotta remember is that uh, is going to also be word to be all the time. You can use worse than, less than, whatever. You can also put it in positive and negative. And also remember that we with participles, it got to be in the middle, in the middle of the two parts of the comparisons. The only thing that you need to study, guys, is the participles. You need to start with the participles again. Because if you do not remember that, I think it's going to be a little bit harder. I know that. Mm -hmm. Alex, don't look at me like panic. Verbs and participles? Participle of the verbs? Past participles. The past participle, you know, yeah, I, I, I learned before. Mm -hmm. Uh, in this case, when we when we talk like with this uh, with this kind of uh, uh, to create this this sentences, the sentences, yeah, it makes it makes it a little harder. Yes, for example, think. Uh, uh, um, let me check. Uh, Think about a sentence. Okay, let me send you this, which is this sentence I'm going to end this class, but I want you to think about it. You can say, it uh, depends on the country, right? But this is going to be hypothetically, okay? And I can say, it, a teacher, uh, let me check, a teacher is, no, no, uh -huh. yes, is, uh-huh. Hmm. Let me check. Now I'm going to put something else, guys. Let me check it out really quickly. I was about to. I forgot my idea. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. There you go. I got it here. Is better paid than a police officer? Okay. Police officer. That is hypothetically. Okay is better paid, it's better paid, paid. That word paid is the past participle of pay, of course, right? All right, so think about that. A teacher, oh, oh, what happened to this? Okay, there you go. Uh, Kike had a problem. Oh, what happened here? Let me check, I tried to send it to you, but for some reasons, oh, okay, I got it here. 
I have to change something here. There you go. I sent it to you already. Okay. So I'm going to leave it to you with this sentence. A teacher is better paid than a police officer. Think about it. Okay. And with that one, I will send it to you right after this class, the information. Okay. And I will send you more, more information that it will help you a lot. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. guys. Okay. Hugs and kisses. Have a great weekend, okay? Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.